Welcome back to Walsall Fan TV. Last match of the season, home to Swindon. Yeah. Um, Lee has been kind enough to uh, invite us into the 1888 lounge. So we're into there. We are early. We arrived before the Swindon coach. That's just pulled up. Yep. Right then, game on. Yeah, we're in the posh seats today. <laughs> Here we are. Come on. You alright, mate? Not bad. Here's the 1888 lounge in the posse. Uh, I got Steve Lewin, Team News. Yeah. Oh, well, Donovan, Daniel, Mayor Austin, Jack here, and Tyrus Shane. Okay, so um, we've got the back three as expected. Um, Devine and Shane on the wing backs. Also, they are playing in the number 10. The uh, Keenan and Miller on the front. Right then. Uh, no place for Ronan Mayer. He's uh, Jack Shaw's on the bench. And we've also got Matt Sandler on the bench. That's a bit of a shock. But it uh, could be his, uh, a little final farewell for him, perhaps. So uh, we'll see whether that's the case. It looks like it. And uh, Stephen's going to give us updates as we go in to see what's happening elsewhere. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Right then, eyes down, we're on it. Well, we can guarantee one thing, it's going to be uh, a great atmosphere today with all the uh, Swindon fans joining us. Can Warsaw spoil their playoff party? We'll have to see. Right then, come on then, Warsaw. Three minutes in, I think uh, the playoff party is not going to get delayed. Um, top top left-hand corner from McKeady uh, gives uh, Swindon the lead. Swindon looking very good in fairness, just in these first few minutes. Already in the seventh minute, and it's feeling like an away game whether we can hold on or not. Uh, already one down. Um, it's just going to be a case of how many, I think, today, the way it started. Walsall have responded well. Excellent work from Al Sadibi. Um, amazing run from his own half. Um, eventually got a crossover for Miller. He connected with his header and the keeper saved it, but it was ruled out for offside. Another excellent move down the left, and uh, but it's headed out for a corner. This is the corner. Northampton are winning 1-0. Oh, come on. Should really do better with that. Oh, I think as Jack Payne was approaching, um, 25 minutes in, Warsaw backing away, and he uh, picks, picks out another fine strike past Rushworth from the edge of the box, 2-0. I think the result was uh, added, not in doubt after the first, to be honest. Um, other scores, Sutton are winning, and um, Port, North, Port, Northampton are uh, definitely climbing third, 3-0 up, uh, Port Vale Exeter, the crucial one, still 0-0, so uh, Port Vale holding on to seventh at the minute. Into injury time, end of the first half, um, McKeady running rings around us. Um, Penalty for 3-0. Or can Rushworth do the job? Half time, 
Swindon 3. Men against boys. Yeah. Is that a bad what it is? Well, not really. The main thing is, on our left side, we have Divine in shape. Firstly, two players who are going to leave us in the end of the season. And secondly, two players who really haven't been doing that great for us. Against McCurdy, who scored 18 goals this season. Their best player, and we've got the two worst players potentially on our team trying to defend against him. Like, Stephen, what, what Stephen. Do I don't, think, I don't think you've ever summed things up so easily and clearly. Manny Mon played there for their penalty. McCurdy, all they had to do was a couple of passes to him. He ran down, Manny Mont there. All he had to do was just take his legs back to the best got <laughs> market, and that was it. And he all thought it went for him. He yeah, might have got he, a red card for it, but he might have went from that, this, that far out, he wouldn't have had a red card. The thing is, he went across. He went a cup and, and then he didn't put passion for it. He didn't go how hard he did to the challenge. McCurdy just skipped the ball inside him and he uh, lost his balance and then he was on his way to goal. And then uh, Daniels brought him down when uh, he cleared the penalties. Yeah. Uh, only going to go one way. And uh, same as the result, really. The thing is, I feel like in a position where Manny is, we've got to look and say, OK, this is McCurdy. Plus, plus 10 goals, 18 yeah, yeah. goals this season. He's not just going to run straight into his apple. You've got to find where he's going. And if you're smart about it, you're going to know that he's going to try and play around. Yeah, he might yeah, not just clear, take his legs. Clear, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely go straight through. McKeady, McKeady is a class above. He is. He's, he's a, a league one above. player. Well, well, at, yeah, least, at least, I think. I think Swindon will do well to hold on to him, even if they do get promoted. They, they can't. They, they, they won't hold on to him. I can see him going championship quite easily, I think. Um, for Warsaw, I think Mickey Flynn needs to make changes, but the bench, he hasn't left as much options. Um, we got uh, Liam Kinsella playing uh, at the front of the diamond, effectively. But... Um, He's winning the ball higher up the pitch, but um, he's not the player to do the damage from that position. So um, he, it's, that's a poor decision in my mind. Hey ho, the second half, let's see what we can do, but um, it don't look good. And uh, to make it worse, Port Vale are winning at the Exeter Promotion Party. So at the moment, they are in the playoffs. Uh, Northampton look like they're going to be claiming the third place. Uh, but some looks like they're going to miss out. Um, Exeter, we're wishing them well set off. <laughs> and um, Swindon, obviously, they're not going to uh, be losing out from here. Oh dear, right then. Eight minutes into the second half, Walsall. Free kick on the left. The thing that can see happening here is a pass off the shade for Shade to score. No, Shade's uh, position there. So, I think with it, the score is pretty much set, really. Um, Swindon seem to just happy now settling for the 3-0 can Warsaw upset it told you shoot told you told you 61 minutes gone Sam Perry on for Reese Devine uh, Warsaw going to three at the back um, should have started with that rather than playing the back four as Stephen said earlier having uh, Reese Devine and Shade trying to control McCurdy was uh, never going to work well. Bit of a chance here for Warsaw on 70 minutes, free kick after George Miller had been brought down. Why Swindon are uh, wasting time when they're three up? I've no idea. Oh, that was close. That was close. No cigar. 79 minutes gone, still 3-0 Swindon. Um, goal in one of the other games. Forest Green now 2-1 down, which uh, elevates Exeter back to the top of the league. Just need a goal for Exeter, or a couple, to uh, upset Port Vale. Uh, it's looking unlikely at this stage. Head up. Come on, Warsaw. Could do with a nice goal. 
Al Sadibi inside to Earing. Earing, get yourself a shot. Come on, boy. Oh, how many players? Shoot! Oh. Oh. Try to do too much there. Not enough uh, power up front, Russell. Last few minutes, hang on. Last few minutes, we've got Jack Shaw's come on for uh, Jack Earing, and uh, Manuel, uh, Manny Mont has gone off. Oh, chance here. Come on. Oh, George Miller, blooming neck. And um, Matt Sadler has come on for Manny Mont. Um, his farewell appearance. Oh, dear. Georgie Miller, he's not the answer, boys. He's not the answer. Doesn't matter whether he's got a big guy alongside him or not. George Miller is not the answer for next season. Man of the match, Stephen. Matt Sadler. <laughs> yeah, it's not been a great one. Kinsella's done well, in fairness. I think we'd give it Kinsella again. Um... Uh, Manny Month has done uh, pretty solid as well. Hayden White as usual. Um, and Keenan, Brendan Keenan. He's uh, had some good runs. He's had some good runs, but when he's had a chance to shoot, his shots have been powder puff. But uh, he's a winger, not a centre forward, we need to remember. Just uh, let's hope uh, Mickey Flynn remembers. Louis Barry. Louis Barry, some good, good some work there. Good work. Uh, oh, he's going for it. Corner ball. Comfortably beaten today. They're going to get a, a crown in fourth now. But uh, that's four wins on the bounce for Swindon. I'm um, the form team going into the playoffs. It'll be the Mansfield, Bristol Rovers and Port Vale are going to be the four. The Reds are going up. Well, the wrong Reds. <laughs> they are, I say, they are the form team. Yeah, final whistle. And uh, it's the Swindon fans running on the pitch rather than the Warsaw fans. Well, all very predictable here at Warsaw. But a goal five minutes from time for Bristol Rovers gives them 7-0. Which means they're level on goal difference with Northampton. And having scored more, um, snapped third. can't believe I predicted uh, Rovers finished ninth. Um, and they've gone up automatically. So we're uh, well done, the gas. Our guest, our guest pair from uh, Sweden. Um, not the best first game for you to see. No, it was not the best game to see, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it was good, good to get here and good to uh, be in the stadium and uh, feel it after all those years of supporting Warsaw and not being able to get here. Yeah. So we're. Uh, the day has been perfect. Uh, the result wasn't perfect, but the, everything else was yeah, the, really good. The result was far from perfect, yeah. but uh, hopefully next season will be better. And uh, you have more chances to come here. More, you think, next season? Yeah, that's what I'm aiming, aiming for. OK, that's good. Right then, and we get you back on the channel. That'd be good. Yeah. Maybe we do a live stream with you um, and talk to you when you're back in Sweden. Yeah, would that be good? Maybe. Nice one. Champion, for all the international saddlers, thanks very much. Cheers.